Okay, hello YouTube. This is the Canadian Greek coming at you one more time. Um, I want to make this video as put a nail in the coffin of ISON and um, finish the debate as to ISON's size. Um, NASA saying that ISON is only five kilometers in diameter. And um, at 5.22 AU, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I show you. Um, there's a picture of ISON at 5.22 AU with a 50,000 kilometer coma. Now that means that ISON, uh, according to NASA, which is only five kilometers in diameter, three to four miles, which is five to six kilometers, we'll say five kilometers for the sake of this video. Um, is putting out a 50,000 kilometer coma at 5.22 AU and I've shown you through uh, Astrophysics Data Systems, NASA's own publication with the author um, John C. Brandt um, that, and through Wikipedia and there's plenty of other sources too that will all tell you the same thing by the way um, that um, a coma doesn't develop until 3 to 4 AU. Maximum size appears to be obtained at 1.5 to 2 AU heliocentric distance from the Sun. So at 5.22 AU, there should be a very small coma or next to none. Okay. Um, there should be just some brightening in, in short. Okay. So to have a, a 50,000 kilometer in diameter coma from a five kilometer in diameter object that is 10,000 times the size okay five kilometers times 10,000 five times 10,000 is 50,000 kilometers okay which is the size of the coma that is shown um, at the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference 2013 so I think something's wrong uh, that, that's why I made uh, the previous four videos on ISON and that's why I'm making this one just to put I'm making this video to give you guys an idea as to the scale of what we're talking about when we're saying um, a five kilometer uh, in diameter object putting out a 50,000 kilometer in diameter coma so uh, let's get to it um, this is a regular RCA jack Okay, we all have these in our homes to hook up our stereos with, etc., etc. The nib on this thing, okay, not not anything going around it, okay, not not any of the rest of that, just the nib uh, is uh, three millimeters. Okay, we're gonna say it's we're gonna say it's two millimeters. Okay, for the uh, for the purposes of this um, video, we're gonna fudge the numbers a little bit. Um, you know, uh, like NASA, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, NASA. Uh, we're going to fudge the numbers a little bit. And we're going to say that this thing is only two millimeters. Okay. And uh, I'm going to give you an idea as to some scale, as to what we're talking about when we're saying 10,000 times um, its size. Okay. Um, 10,000 times two millimeters, by the way, is 20 meters. I have a two meter stick measure here. Uh, let's get to this demonstration a little bit so you guys can have an idea as to what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, this is ISON. Okay. And this is ISON's coma. I don't even know if I can get this whole thing in here. I'll try. Uh, uh, let's see. Ah, there we go. I think that's mostly showing. Okay, you have some idea. I don't know if you guys can even see the nib. The nib is here. Okay, the nib here is ISON, and this stick measure represents ISON's coma. Okay, here we go. And 
I ain't get an idea of some scale. And this, by the way, the stick measure is only two meters in diameter, or it's two meters long. Okay. So in order for this to be an accurate scale, which I can't even do in my apartment, okay, I can't even do it in my apartment, this stick measure would have to be 20 meters long. Ten of these to show you Ison's coma. 10,000 times the size, five kilometer uh, in diameter object with a 50,000 kilometer coma just so you have an idea as to some scale of what we're talking about okay is here and this is only two meters you need ten of these stick measures in order to get a proper scale of what we're talking about okay so when we're talking about common isons coma at 5.22 AU being 50,000 kilometers in diameter, it is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you know what I'm talking about, where I'm coming from, and what I'm trying to say. Okay, um, a coma is supposed to be very small beyond 4 AU, stated by John C. Brandt of uh, SAO, Astrophysics Data Systems. A NASA publication. Um, look at my previous videos and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so, <clears throat> something sinks. Something doesn't ring true for me. Okay. A five kilometer in diameter comet is expanding a 50,000 kilometer coma at 5.22 AU. And now you have an idea of how ridiculous that is. That little nib that I showed you, okay, that little nib, okay, versus a 20 meter, 10 of those stick measures that I just had there, because that's only two meters long, and I can't even fit that in the picture. Okay, now if you get 10 of those things together versus that little nib, that would be to scale of what we're talking about for 10,000 times okay that's absolutely ridiculous um, something doesn't ring true uh, I think this thing is much larger than what they say um, well you guys know you guys seen you guys have seen my previous videos um, for anybody that hasn't have a look at them um, alert uh, C-2012 S1 I saw now what NASA says and this will be apparently part 5 to the video now I have to put give you guys my apologies yesterday I made uh, a video I'm actually remaking it right now because I made a small uh, error I only calculated 1,000 times the size instead of 10,000 okay um, so I'm correcting that now my apologies uh, we all make mistakes and uh, that's what you get for making a video not having slept you know in 28 hours and having you know been driving the last three um, I just woke up now and I thought I'd remake it um, thanks to someone for uh, pointing out my inaccuracy I appreciate that um, now I'm not going to be making any more videos on ISON until uh, late September okay because um, well, there's not really much to be said right now on ISON anyway. Um, I've heard that, I've heard by the way, I haven't checked this out myself yet, I just woke up, um, that uh, ISON's trajectory has changed and it's not going to be coming closer to Earth than previously thought. Uh, the previous distance that was given by NASA's trajectory was supposed to be at 0.4 AU, which is less than half the distance of the Sun. <clears throat> apparently now it's going to be at point three it's going to be even closer but um, I give no credence to the trajectory right now because um, the trajectory is likely to change especially after uh, Ison goes around perihelion um, if you guys remember comet NEAT uh, 2002 V1 NEAT uh, there was a lot of um, how shall we say it 
Uh, there were a lot of discrepancies. Uh, there are a lot of accusations that NASA fudged some of its images and uh, cut off some of its video feeds to um, to cover up the massive solar flares that were uh, provoked um, by NEAT from the sun, uh, which actually changed its trajectory. It actually pushed NEAT away. Um, and there's also a lot of um, conspiracy talk that NEAT was supposed to be an extinction level event. It was supposed to hit us, but because the sun pushed it away, um, well, the sun did us a solid, basically. It um, saved us, and NEAT passed by us without incident. Now, I'm hoping the sun will do us a solid again, and um, give ISON quite a push, and push it away from us. Now, anyways, that's why I'm not going to give any credence to any trajectories that are being estimated right now, because once this thing goes around the sun, everything is likely to change. Uh, again, I won't be making another video until September. Uh, I'm going to try and get pictures. Uh, and actually, I'm going to try and get a video of uh, ISON over Mars. We will know everything we need to know then. Um, that's it. Again, I apologize for the mistake of my previous video. Sorry, guys, but I'm only human. And, well, anyways, it doesn't really matter. I'm making this uh, video here to correct that mistake and to correct that, to correct that inaccuracy. Okay. Um, so that little nib that I showed you earlier versus 10 of those stick measures to make 20 meters. Okay. And that would make, that would give you an idea of some scale as to what 10,000 times the size is when we're saying a five kilometer object is putting out a 50,000 kilometer coma. Five times 10,000 is 50,000. So we need a 10,000 time. It's 10, you know, the coma of ISON at 5.22 AU is 10,000 times the size of ISON. That doesn't ring true to me, people. Especially at that distance, at 5.22 AU, it should not have a coma that massive. Now, if NASA calls at you know 10,000 times the size of the object, if that's a small coma, I don't know. Anyway, something doesn't ring true. I think ISON is a lot larger than what they're telling us. I think I think ISON is planet sized. Okay, I'll just put it out there, just plain and simple. I think ISON is planet sized. Now I don't know how big it is exactly. Uh, I don't have a radio telescope. I don't have access to that kind of equipment. I can't, you know, do the research for myself and let you guys know. Okay, I have to go on whatever information is out there, and whatever information is out there is telling me that NASA, that NASA is full of crap. Um, so this will be it until September. Um, it's not too far away at this point. Uh, it's only a couple of months from now. So we'll have to see what we'll see then. Um, this is the Canadian Greek. Uh, thanks for your patience. I'm out.